Hi everybody, welcome to Studio B. Today I'm going to be talking about probably the biggest book package I may have ever received. This one is so great, I can't even wait to show you guys it. So let's get to it. The first book I want to show you guys, and the one I'm by far most excited about, is A Wolf for a Spell. This book has been compared to The Girl Who Drank the Moon and Pax. Both books which I really love, and it is supposed to be a Russian-inspired like fairy tale. An elegant fairy tale retelling that feels both classic and fresh. So I didn't go too deep into the research because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys either. But I will spoil that the author really does look like a grown-up Merida. Yeah, she's really pretty, but that doesn't really have anything to do with the book. And if I were you, I'd put this first on my list. This one is Amari and the Knight Brothers. So Amari and the Knight Brothers did confuse me at first because I was looking it up and I was like, wait, it's a guy? Wait, no, it's a girl. What's really happening in here? Wait, what? I was really confused when I was looking this up, but then I got all spoiled on Amazon and it was a big letdown because I really wanted to find out that for myself. But I'm still actually super excited to read this. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Amari's brother was pretty perfect. Rising up from his low income housing and actually getting full ride scholarships to a bunch of Ivy League schools. But in the midst of this, Amari's brother mysteriously disappears and it is up to Amari to find out why everyone is pretending like it didn't happen. There's more I could say about this, but I want you guys to be surprised. And if you are a cover snob, such as myself, the inside has gold stars. The Silver Arrow. Yet another one that I got spoiled on Amazon looking up reviews. I probably shouldn't be looking up reviews so much because I always get spoiled with all these spoilers, but I actually look up these books beforehand so I can know how to best explain the plot before I actually read the book. The Silver Arrow looks great. It is for fans of Narnia and Roald Dahl. And since I am a huge fan of both Narnia and Roald Dahl, I think this book is going to be perfect for me. If you weren't sure, Roald Dahl wrote these books. This was a New York Times bestseller and People's Magazine's best book of the year. In this book, a birthday gift turns two kids' boring lives completely around when it takes them on an adventure of a lifetime. Only thing I don't like is this inside of the book jacket, which kind of turns me off to whichever of the characters wrote this. Dear Uncle Herbert, you've never met me, but I'm your niece Kate. And since it is my birthday tomorrow and you are super rich, do you think you can please send me a present? Like, how entitled is this girl? No, you've never even met this person before. Why are you asking them for a present? That's not even how presents work. This one is based off of a Malaysian folktale. Brooke, why are you so obsessed with all of these folktale things? I read the whole Rick Rodin spin-off series that was all about these folktales, and it was really good, and I happened to like it. This one's a Malaysian folktale that is supposed to be deep, dark, and mysterious. It is compared to doll bones and supposed to be an amazing thriller. I can't even wait to read this. Turn down your show! I'm filming! Petita and her family fled from the cartel wars in Mexico. But when her father is arrested by ICE, Petita and her mother are left by themselves in a family detention camp. And Petita worries if her family will ever be whole again. Hatchet meets Long Way Down in the canyon's edge. At first, it was just a fun climbing trip, but after a flash flood, she is left stranded from her family with no supplies. All the reviews on Amazon said that this is told in a very poetic form. So I actually really liked the book Hatchet, and my brothers would probably be obsessed with this book because they are obsessed with survival. My brother got a travel survival kit for his birthday yesterday. Like, what does he even need to survive? We have food in the fridge! Being stranded isn't the only problem this girl has. She's been heavily sheltered from the world after her mother was killed in a shooting. So as she battles with the elements and animals to be able to survive, she also battles with her inner worries. Maya goes from being a normal, average 12-year-old girl to a staff-wielding godling at the beginning of one summer after finding out that her father was actually a god and that he's been captured. I would predict that her vacation is about to get very interesting. Comment below, would you rather find out that you're a wizard and going to Hogwarts or that you are a godling? Caddy Wampus. Not only is this magical story five stars on Amazon, but it's about a spell that goes haywire in a town that's forbidden to use magic. But when I say that the spell went haywire, what I mean is accidentally resurrecting a whole entire graveyard worth of zombies and unleashing them on your town. You know, sometimes you mess up 
and you're like, oh, I can't believe I did that. But like everyone's gonna forget about it. Unleashing an army of zombies onto your town is not something like that. So these two girls have to work together to try their best and fix this. Three keys. I loved this book, but I like the first book even more, which is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. I've already talked about it, I've posted about it on Instagram, I really like this one. But I also liked her book Parachutes, so if I were you, I would go and get the first book in this series, The Front Desk, right now. I'm pretty sure you'll love it. A Native American girl injures her leg badly and is unable to continue with her love of ballet. She struggles to find joy after losing something that has defined her and been a huge part of her life and personality for so long. This author's debut novel was I Can Make This Promise, and it was an American Indian Youth Literature Award Honor Book and a Charlotte Huck Award Honor Book, and was named a Best Book of the Year by Kirkus Reviews, School Library Journal, NPR, and the Chicago Public Library. I'm guessing this is going to be at least super good. And for the last book in this one, Hollow Pox, from this is the third book from the Nevermore series. This specific one is about battling a strange illness that has taken hold of her town, but I actually don't really know what the whole entire series is like. So I'm going to like skim through this and read some reviews and see if I want to buy this book on Amazon to actually read and review. <sighs> that was a lot of books. Thank you guys so much for watching all of that. That was quite a bit. I just love unboxings. And I would like to give the Disney princess looking author a huge thank you for sending me these. Quick update for my 2021 reading goals. I have purchased quite a few of the books that I have mentioned and I am super excited to read them. Due to circumstances not under my control, my comments are restricted. But please check out my Insta, Facebook, Goodreads. Anyway, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time on Studio B.